Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Yes, so hmm, it's Father Mbaka. He said, I see something worse coming for Tinubu. Father Mbaka re re revealed disturbing prophecy for uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He said, this what he's seen for him himself is disturbing. The thing is, is doing his heart and mind. Bagang, bagang, bagang. He says, so this is what he sees coming for Tinubu says so this is very very unprecedented and he cannot begin to imagine exactly what is going on here please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe let's get all the details I see something worse coming for Bola Ahmed Tinubu Father Mbaka revealed disturbing prophecy for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu President Bola Metinubu has been urged to be weary of his steps to avoid occurrence of Niger political instability in Nigeria. Father A.G.K. Mbaka, the spiritual leader of Adoration Ministry, said the president needs to submit himself to the will of God so that God can use him. Yes, so God can use him to redeem Nigeria, not to destroy Nigeria. It can be either way. The clergy said the failure of the president to listen to him will lead to a catastrophic beyond expectation in which he did not know when and how it will happen. Father H.K. Mbaka, the spiritual leader of the Adoration Ministry in Enugu, Nigeria, has foreseen a political instability worse than that of Niji coming for Tinubu in Nigeria, citing the unemployment rate in the country and much more. In a video posted on his church official page, the clergy warned that God is watching President Paul Ahmed Tinubu and that the presidency will get it right in fixing the country if President Paul Ahmed Tinubu can submit himself to the will of God and can listen to him. Father Mbaka said during the ministration, decried the state of the nation, particularly unemployment, adding that it was a situation that should be addressed with urgency. According to the religious leader, the clergy called on President Tinubu to seek the face of God as soon as possible or face drastic consequences in a short period. Father Mbaka said, Tinubu, listen to me. The rate of unemployment in Nigeria is too much. Heaven is watching you. What Everything you need to be able to help Nigeria become a better country is within your reach. But you are not doing it and god is watching you god we, god has given you a chance to redeem nigeria if you don't use it you will face the consequences if you turn it around you will also face the consequences so that's father Mbaka. we're saying to tinubu the the choice is yours the days are before you whatever you do now you will have to live with the consequences of the decisions you are making. He said, well, he has assessed it. He has looked at it very well. And he can see that, you know, uh, according to him from the spiritual realm, when he entered inside, inside his spirit, when he opened the door and entered inside his spirit, he saw that, according to him, God has given Tinubu opportunity to be able to redeem Nigeria. He said, but there are two options. Tinubu can either take it or leave it or cause it to just go by and it will lose the opportunity of a lifetime of bringing about a real change that will affect Nigeria and move her forward. So Father Mbaka said, it's up to Tinubu. Whatever he does with it, like they will say, the ball is in your court. Toast it, swing, swing it, and move it wherever you wish to go. Because at the end of the day, you will live with the consequences. Father Mbaka said to Tinubu, rise up, rise up now and begin to you know, help Nigeria and serve and save the situation say because you will face the consequences of the actions of what you are doing today so my people now so be you now for back i don't talk so he say we say tinubu need to begin to retrace his step and part of retracing that step is for tinubu to listen to him say because listening is a skill that tinubu needs to put together in this very day age and time if Tinubu want to advance, move forward, and make real tangible progress. He said, because with what Tinubu is currently doing today and now, if something is not done immediately to serve and to save the situation, there will be serious consequences, and Tinubu will live with the consequences of the actions he has made. So this is what is happening, and this is where we are at. And every single person is waiting, watching, and looking forward to the best being done. 
Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu came on the back of Emilio Kong, which sounds more like it is my turn. And um, whatever happens, I want my, to have my chance by hook or by crook, whether you like it or not, it is my turn. And so when the result of the presidential election was called by INEC, a lot of Nigerians, you know, frowned at it. And even those that participated in the election went ahead and said, you know what, we are not happy. Of course, they were directed to the court. And as we speak, we're waiting for presidential election tribunal to come out with the result of the, you know, of what they have been able to assess in terms of looking at all the situations before them, in terms of looking at all the, you know, the, the, the evidences that has been dropped on their laps. So this is what is happening right now. And every single person, you know, is currently watching, seeing and looking forward to how things can become better, better and better. So when you look at the thing, the truth of it is that we, if we want, you know, things to be better, we need to still pray for the country, not just live and say, we'll say, that's it, it's done. No, 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 no. We still need to pray for the country, make things better, because if things better for the country, every one of us will enjoy them. It is the answer. So these are part of what is going on now. And everybody's watching and seeing, you know, what's going on. Well, my people, like they say, it is time for us all to begin to arise and ensure that we are doing everything that we need to do to serve and to save the situation. Because Nigerians today, the day is, the day is, that this is the time, this is the day that we all need to begin to, you know, ensure that we are working at it and ensuring that we are, we are rising up and do not allow, okay, you know, uh, influences because Tinubu seemed to be very distracted. However, we cannot blame him because uh, the real president has not been ascertained yet. What do I mean by that? We are still waiting patiently to hear what will come up in terms of who the real president of the country is from the presidential election tribunal. So we are waiting. We are waiting and uh, we want to know, you know, what the matter will be going on from here. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. If there's any time, we all need to be ready and ensure that things are done properly. This is that time. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember that you have a voice and together we can end any instability and wrongdoing currently going on in the country when we contribute and make the necessary impact to ascertain change. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.